Cesar, it's been a difficult period at the club. Can you tell us what the atmosphere is like now? Can you feel a difference? Yeah, obviously it was a, a difficult week uh, for the club, but now we have to, to move on. Obviously, uh, we are in a difficult position and we want to, to start uh, winning games and, and to get in, in, in the position that Chelsea should be. How did you hear the news about Mourinho's departure and what was your reaction? Well, I, I heard uh, leaving the training ground and obviously the reaction was uh, sadness because when uh, as a player in your club changes a manager, obviously it's because you are not doing the, the right things. And as a player, when I got this situation, obviously you feel responsible and, and you want to, to change it because, uh, you know, never when a team is winning and doing uh, stuff, the stuff amazingly, you, you don't change the manager. So. Obviously, it was, was, was hard, but now it's time to, to think in, in the future. Do the players feel responsible? Yeah. Obviously, when you are in the situation so bad, it's because we were not doing the, the correct things. We did. Sometimes the results did it, was not there, and sometimes we were unlucky. But to be in this position, you know, all of us, obviously, we, we are part of this because we were on the beach. You publicly thanked Jose on Twitter. How do you think he improved you as a player? I, I learned a lot from him uh, first when he arrived, even if I was not playing. I always uh, felt his confidence. After a few months, he, he gave me the chance to, to play in, as a left back and I improved a lot. I, I win the Premier League in, in that position. and. I always had his confidence and I, will, I always try to, to give him back and on the pitch, on the training and, and obviously now it's time to, to give for the next manager. To go from that euphoria of winning the league to the situation this season, why do you think the atmosphere has changed so much inside the club? It's difficult to, to analyse how uh, strong we were in, in May when we won the Premier League. Uh, with you know just three defeats in in the Premier League, and now the beginning of the season was so hard and, and it's difficult. But uh, now is not time to think about it; just to learn from from the mistakes. Obviously, the atmosphere is not good when you don't win, and this is reality. But uh, it's time to to focus on the on the next games. It's a very unusual situation for a team to be booed when they're playing well. How did you feel about the crowd's reaction during the Sunderland game? Can you understand that anger? Yeah, the fans has their own opinion. We are not in, in a good position. We cannot expect, uh, you, you cannot, uh, uh, I don't know the, the name in English, but I think for the position that we were, they always uh, gave everything for us, they support us. Obviously, when we didn't get results, they, they have uh, the respect to, to, to express his, their own opinion. And, and on Saturday, it was a, a difficult day for everybody, for the club, for the fans, the players. Uh, we were in a difficult position on, on the table, a change of manager. and. All what we wanted, I think, the whole stadium was to, to get a win that everybody needed. And now it's time to, to get the confidence back from them. And, and I think we will, we will get it. And obviously the atmosphere will be uh, very good again. Was it a coincidence that the team started playing better or just because it was Sunderland? We, we played an amazing first half. This is a reality. After <laughs> you can say what you want, uh, you know, but the reality is that we play well. The people create chances. We, I think, defensively we were strong. And after we got the win, that was uh, what we wanted and, and in a difficult day like Saturday. A lot of people said after the game that players looked like they were playing with more freedom, looked liberated. Do you agree with that? Football changes a lot. If you see maybe in other games, you can see the same because we played well. Sometimes we played well, but we made one mistake that punish. You know, every time we made a mistake, we were punished and, and the results were not there and the confidence obviously was lower than when you are winning. But now I think uh, we have to, to get the positive from the from the game, don't think about the the past and and to kick on because uh, we have still 
five, six months to, to play and great things uh, in our hands. Is Gus Hiddinks the right man to help you kick on? What was your reaction to his appointment? Yeah, he's an experienced uh, manager, obviously with a great tra um, trajectory in, in the football. He managed Chelsea, he won the FA Cup. So I think he's is the, is the right uh, man to, to be with us. Uh, the club believes in, in him and, and we have to, to adapt as quick as possible into him and, and obviously together is the only way to, to get the results. What has he said to the players since coming in? What's been his message? Until now, hello. <laughs> we'll see you this afternoon. What, what will be the, the priorities for him? What needs to change? We have to change uh, a few things. Obviously, uh, to, to have uh, this amount of points is because we need to improve in, in in a few things and I think uh, he will analyse and he will tell us what we have to do and obviously as a player we have to reflect this on the pitch. After the Leicester game, Jose said that top four is impossible now. What do you think about that? What can you still achieve this season? Now we don't have any target. Uh, obviously we would like to, to arrive there but in the position that we are now we have to focus on the next game and to get wins because we are not even in, in the middle table and this is the reality and, and again, on Saturday we were playing a, a game that a player that a team that was uh, uh, below us and was difficult to, to play so now it's time to, to get wins and climb step by step. How does it affect confidence being so far down the table at this time of year? It's a position that uh, we we we, want, we don't want to be here, obviously, and but if we are here, it's because uh, the number says that, and and now it's, it's it's a strange feeling because we are used to 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 be in top position. Last year we were uh, top of the table since day one until uh, the end of the season, and and it's difficult, but we have to be the reality. The the position is is where, where we are, and and it's it's hard, and we have to fight for for getting back in winning ways. John Terry said that only a couple of players have performed well this season, the rest haven't. How do you assess your own contribution? My own contribution always I put in as a team contribution and this year we are not doing the the, the targets that we are getting, you know, we wanted to, to win the Premier League again. We are far from this and obviously I'm not happy because uh, I always want more and, and I think uh, as a player I feel part of the team and same as last year I was feeling part of the winning team, this year I feel part of the losing team and I'm not happy because I could do better and I can do better and I will work for it. Manchester United, Chelsea, always a huge game in the Premier League. How important is this match in terms of the rest of Chelsea's season? It's a big game, always uh, Manchester United against Chelsea. It's a big game in English football. Uh, uh, you play against uh, the top players, and obviously, even if the position of both teams are quite uh, different that we are used to, but uh, remains a, a big game. What have you thought of Manchester United's performances this season? Well, I think all of the teams we are struggling because this year the Premier League is getting really tough. Uh, every game is, is difficult. We are seeing scores that anybody predicts and obviously the, the elimination in the in the Champions League was hard for them but here he in the race for the Premier League and they will fight until the end.